Also in Pasco County, an actress from the 90s film Clueless is under arrest for domestic battery. All right. So can you just go ahead and put your hands on your back for real quick? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Typical girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> We had an, a disagreement on set. It, it took a life of on its own. Well, get on the freeway! Get on the freeway! I've had it. I went out of this relationship. Fine. Just collect your things and go back to the projects. I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> Thank you. Have you heard the latest scoop on Stacy Dash? You know, the diva from Legendary Clueless, who had us all wishing we could rock plaid skirts and knee-high socks with the same flair. Well, buckle up, because it turns out behind all that sass and style, stacy has been riding one heck of a roller coaster. How much money were you spending on drugs a month? Do you, do you even know? No, I'd say about five to ten grand so here's the tea miss i've got an opinion on everything dash hasn't had the smoothest sale after airing her views on well just about anything that can stir the pot from her hot takes on black history month to her bold statements on transgender right and let's just say her habit of not holding back might have done more than just ruffle a few feathers black she got on her off of her because girlfriend has worked on bet more than most actresses have and i think she's just saying this kind of bold because she wants some sensationalism and she's working for Fox and she needs a job and she's making a check and she's bringing controversy to herself. Stacey is a bit of a media hoe. Another black actress who got a lot of backlash this year for becoming political, Stacey Dash. Do you think that the backlash she received was fair and what's your take on her stance for coming out for Romney? I didn't know that she was a Republican. I will start there. Second, I don't know why she had to do a photo shoot in a Baywatch red swimsuit with the boobs and the whole flag behind her. Cue to the drama. Did Stacey Dash's fearless tongue really crash her career? Or is she just on a temporary detour on the comeback highway? Stacy stepped into the limelight in the early 80s, dabbling in crime drama with her debut in Pharrell for the People. Fast forward to 1985, and there she is, gracing the Cosby Show with her presence before sliding into TV 101. But honey, that was just the appetizer. Enter 1988, and who's that stealing scenes in the Richard Pryor Laugh Riot moving? Yup, our girl Stacy is making waves and turning heads. The 90s roll around, and she's leading the pack in Mo Money and Renaissance Man, not to mention a cheeky cameo in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But hold on to your hats, because 1995 was the year Stacy became the Dion to Alicia Silverstone's share in the cult classic Clueless. Yes, the high school halls were never the same, and even Entertainment Tonight couldn't resist a behind-the-scenes peek with our diva in the gang. But of course there's more. Post-Clueless, Stacy wasn't just a one-hit wonder. She parlayed that fame into starring in the UPN spinoff, serving looks and sass from 1996 to 1999. And the 2000s? She was the undisputed muse of Black Hollywood, igniting the screen in Black films and TV shows, and becoming the video vixen we all inspire to be in hits like Emotional, All Falls Down, and Favorite Girl, magazines like King, Smooth, and Jet. And get this, Dash even posed nude in the August 2006 issue of Playboy. They practically had her on speed dial for those cover shots. In 2009, our girl Stacy was just dipping her toes into the TV world with a spot on The Game. By 2011, she's not just in The Game, she's leading the pack in vh one Single Ladies as the fabulous Val. Talk about a glow up. Now the show kicks off with a bang, reeling in nearly 2 million eyeballs per episode. Fans? Check. Drama? Double check. But here's where it gets juicy. Whispers from the set suggest not all was rosy. Our insider, a mysterious co-star, spills the tea on Stacy and Lisa Ray McCoy's behind-the-scenes catfight. A lot of rumors about you and Stacey Dad and the catfights and the drama behind the scenes. I know, we gotta clear up these rumors okay, once and for all. Okay, let's clear it up. Nothing. We're friends. We had a, a disagreement on set. It, it took a life of on itself. What was the you disagreement I mean? about? Like, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. We were in the middle of the scene. The director was telling her to stay in the scene and say this specific line before she leaves. She kept doing a take-up take. She didn't do it. And it was like, come on, girl. Do what the director tell you to do because 
was obviously time to go. It was that kind of thing. And it was like, what? You know, yeah, come on. You know, it was that. And it just, you know, I guess everybody else wanted to make it something. And According to an enormous source, working with Stacy was like trying to nail Jello to a wall. Utterly impossible. It seems the air on set was thicker with tension than a reality TV reunion special. Picture Stacy, diva mode on, hand in Lisa's face, yikes. Rumor has it that things nearly got physical. And if you thought that was wild, picture this. The diva duel turned into a passive-aggressive note war, where the two were leaving petty notes on each other's trailer. Can you even imagine what those notes said? Dash exited the stage from single ladies after just one season, citing family reasons, but the rumor mill has been churning over time. Word on the street is that there's more to the story than just a desire to spend more time with the fam. What's the real tea, you ask? Let's just say where there's smoke, there's usually fireworks. You won't believe the roller coaster ride Stacy has been on since waving goodbye to single ladies. One day, she's all about the drama and glam, and the next, she's stirring the pot as a conservative commentator. Talk about a plot twist. Remember when she was on Team Obama in 2008? Fast forward to 2012, and boom, she's all in for Mitt Romney, saying Obama didn't roll out the red carpet for black people as she expected. First time I voted was for Obama. I got blacked into it, yes. you know? And I thought, this is gonna be wonderful. <laughs> He's going to unite us in such a profound way. And he did the exact opposite. Stacy flipped sides, igniting a firestorm of outrage. Accusations flew, branding her the ultimate sellout. Like three o'clock in the morning, we were in the middle of the scene. The director was telling her to stay in the scene and say this specific line mm -hmm. before she leaves. Kept doing it take after take, she didn't do it. And it was like, come on girl, do what the director tell you to do because it's late, it's time to go. It was that kind of thing. But why stop at betrayal? Stacy upped the antic with a sprinkle of anti-black and anti-feminist remarks because apparently she's auditioning for the role of villain of the year. But of course there's more. The switcheroo wasn't just a political statement. It turned into a full-blown family drama. Is Stacy Dash really your cousin, man? Yeah, first cousin. I, she's on my nerves, bro. She's your first cousin. Yeah. With Stacy's own cousin telling her, maybe you should keep those hot takes to yourself, yeah? Imagine Thanksgiving dinners at their place. I'll just tell you this. I'm going to say it like this. I know you've been to a family function and you're at the table and there's always that one uncle or aunt that's just outrageous and has the crazy opinion and y'all argue, but they still sit at the table and you still love them. That's Kanye and Stacey Dad. I don't agree with not a lot of things they say and not a lot of things they do, but he's still my brother and that's still my cousin. I don't Stacey, agree with... Stacy Dash... I think if Stacy Dash was my cousin, I'd get my other cousins to jump her. I'd get my girl cousins to jump her, dog. Pass the turkey and the tension, please. And let's not skip over the part where her controversial opinion snagged her a gig at Fox News. From red carpets to red states, Stacy's journey had everyone asking, is this real life or a reality show subplot? So what do you think was really the tea with Stacey's sudden change of heart? A genuine political awakening or just another bid for the spotlight? Our girl goes beyond just throwing shade. She launched a full-on hurricane at Obama, calling out those Louisiana voters who supported him as freeloaders stuck in a plantation mentality. Can you believe the audacity? Of course it gets juicier. Fast forward to 2016, and Hollywood is under fire for its vanilla-flavored Academy nomination, sparking the viral hashtag Oscar so white drama. And who jumps into the fray? None other than our controversy queen, Stacey Dash. She didn't just dip her toes in, she dove headfirst into the deep end, calling the outcry ludicrous. And she didn't stop there. She had the gall to suggest we might as well toss out the NAACP and Black History Month if we're chatting about real integration. And BET? Oh, she went there, claiming it feeds lies to Black Americans. Americans and accusing it of fueling segregation by celebrating black excellence through its awards and events. Is she stirring the pot or is she trying to cook up a storm? What do you think? Because Stacy decided to stir the pot by saying who needs Black History Month? We want to have segregation or integration. If we don't want segregation, then we need to get rid of channels like BET and the BET Awards and the Image Awards, where you're only awarded if you're black. If it were the other way around, we would be up in arms. It's a double standard. Just like there shouldn't be a Black History Month. You know, it, we're Americans. Yes, you heard that right. She basically suggested we should all just be Americans. No special months needed. 
fast forward a month, and she's letting Chris Rock turn her into the butt of the joke at the Oscars. Talk about an awkward silence so thick you could cut it with a knife. The crowd's reaction? Let's just say if cringe burned calories, we'd all be supermodels by now. Please welcome Miss Stacy Dash. <laughs> I cannot wait to help my people out. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the drama doesn't end, folks. During a spicy chat with Entertainment Tonight one sizzling summer, Stacy threw some serious shade over bathroom laws for transgender folk. She was like, why should I have to suffer just because someone else is playing gender roulette with their morning mood? And get this, she actually suggested that if transgender people are caught in a pinch in public, their best bet is to buddy up with a bush. I have to suffer because you can't decide what you want to be that day. But is it a decision? <laughs> I, I would think so. It's your body, so it's your decision. We all have to, we all make choices. I guess a lot of people in the transgender community would then say, it is who I am and yeah. I don't choose to be one way or another. It's who I am. Okay, then go, go to the bushes. I don't know what to tell you, go but <laughs> I'm not going to put my child's life at risk because you want to change a law so that you can be comfortable with your belief, which means I have to change my belief and my rights. Then she went full gossip queen on Caitlyn Jenner, saying Caitlyn shouldn't strut into women's bathrooms, calling it tyranny by the minority. Stacy's basically asking, why do I have to deal with this drama because someone else can't pick a lane? And just when you thought she couldn't stir the pot anymore, she dropped a bomb on feminism. Our girl Stacy claims feminists are out there on a manhunt, but not in the way you think. They're after men's jobs. According to her, being a feminist doesn't mean you need to arm wrestle a guy for his paycheck. She's all, who needs to beat a man to be a feminist? Not me. Talk about throwing some serious tea around. Whether you're rolling out the red carpet for her or rolling your eyes, one thing's for certain. She's got the gift of gab that keeps on giving, for better or for cringe. On a serious note, it's not all love songs and flower bouquets. Our gal has faced her share of demons from childhood traumas. She's opened up about being molested as a child, battling addictions, and escaping abusive relationships. She first said I do to Brian Lavelle in 99, thinking it was forever until the mid-2000s rolled around and said, nah, let's not. Not one to stay down, she then cozied up to British exec James Maybe. And when that fizzled out, she tried her luck with Emmanuel Schwereb in 2009. But quicker than you can say divorce papers, she was single again in 2010. You'd think she'd swear off love, but nope, she's a hopeless romantic. In 2018, she walked down the aisle yet again, this time with Jeffrey Marty, making us wonder if she's got a secret aisle in her house. Through it all, she's remained resilient, proving she's not not just another tabloid headline, but a warrior in designer heels. So who's ready for the next episode in the saga of love, loss, and everything in between? Did you know she supports the Second Amendment? She doesn't just support it, she's practically its poster girl, after saying her trusty gun saved her bacon during a downright scary moment, where she was being assaulted at gunpoint by an ex, but she fought back and scared him off with her firearm. But the plot thickens. In 2019, Stacy found herself in a pickle, and not the fun kind you find at a picnic. After a little domestic spat with her hubby turned into a full-blown legal drama, she got slapped with a domestic battery charge. Thankfully, her knight in shining armor, or, well, her husband, stepped in and the charges vanished like my willpower around cake. Still, that was the beginning of the end for their love story. By the next year, they were announcing their split. Talk about a roller coaster. And just when you thought Stacy's life couldn't get more like a soap opera? She pops up on the Dr. Oz show in October 2021 with a plot twist. She's been battling a Vicodin addiction, but is now proudly flying the flag of sobriety for five whole years. You go, girl. How much money were you spending on drugs a month? Do you, do you even know? No. I'd say about five to ten grand. So how bad did this addiction get? Uh, I was taking 18 to 20 pills a day. 18 to 20? Yeah. And no one knew. 
But in a twist that reads like a Hollywood script, Dash takes a dramatic leap from silver screen to the gritty world of politics in 2018, plunging into the political arena to run in California's 44th district. It's a bold move, akin to jumping into a shark tank armed with nothing but good intention. The district, a democratic stronghold, might as well have had beware of underdog signs posted. But you've got to tip your hat to her for stepping into the ring, right? Alas, the spotlight of politics proved harsher than anticipated. Despite being a successful woman with a net worth of $10 million, making many envious, Dash waved the white flag, retreating from the political battlefield. She cited the toxic political climate and its toll on her family's harmony as her reasons for bowing out. And just when you think the drama ends there, the plot thickens with a messy divorce and headlines you wouldn't want to write home about. It's safe to say these were not the best of times. Yet, like the protagonist in every comeback story, Dash isn't the type to remain in the shadows. Armed with resilience and a few tricks up her sleeve, she's eyeing a return to Hollywood. With projects lined up for 2024, the burning question remains, will Hollywood roll out the red carpet for her return? Or is it curtains for our plucky heroine? Stay tuned because this comeback story is far from over. What are your thoughts on Stacey Dash's journey through the years? Are you a fan of her past projects? Did you like Clueless? Comment down below.